What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've got some great news to share with you guys. For everybody waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 8.3, 8.2, even iOS 8.4, there's been a breakthrough. Stephen Esser, also known as Ionic, is a jailbreak developer. He's contributed to several jailbreaks in the past. He has posted a video on YouTube, and I'll link it down below in the description, of a jailbreak running successfully on iOS 8.4 Beta 1. For those of you that don't know, iOS 8.4 has been released by Apple. It's the Beta 1 version right now and it includes a ton of new fixes primarily on the music application it's been redesigned and I have a video on that as well but the good news is it's been jailbroken in Ionic back there in the video he actually shows people that it is indeed iOS 8.4 he goes through the music application opens it up you can also see the new emojis found in 8.3 and the Apple Watch app on 8.2 so it does seem legitimate now I'm not worried about whether or not it's legitimate I'm almost positive that he does have a jailbreak running on iOS 8.4 the question is Will we ever see it? Will he release that to the world? Because he doesn't have a very good track record of collaborating well with other jailbreak developers. In a way, I'm happy to hear that he has created a jailbreak. I'm just a little bit disappointed that we might not be able to see it from him. Now, that doesn't mean we won't see a jailbreak. No, it just means that Ionic himself might not release this jailbreak. He could collaborate with other teams. We don't know yet. But the good news is a jailbreak has been achieved and it is working on iOS 8.4. That's also good for another reason. If a jailbreak is found in 8.4, that means every firmware before it, 8.3, 8.2, will be able to run this jailbreak as well. 8.1.3, don't really know about that one, but it's great because iOS 8.4 actually fixes a lot of exploits used in previous jailbreaks or one big one and a lot of smaller security exploits. So it's really exciting to hear that a jailbreak is compatible with 8.4, the fact that it's been found on one. Now again, we don't know if he's gonna release it. He didn't say anything. He just said, hey, look, here's a jailbreak. It's working on this particular firmware. And he didn't say anything anything. So it's all speculation there. However, it's very doubtful he will release a jailbreak, but we know that it's possible now. An 8.4 jailbreak has been found, so it should be no issue for it to be found on other iOS versions as well. So even though he might not release it himself, this could motivate the other teams to go ahead and find other exploits, you know, move forward faster because someone else has done it. Why can't we? Well, it's good news, guys. This really makes me happy because we've been, you know, talking about it for so long yet. We don't see any fruit, but now we have a jailbreak working on the new 8.4 version. Now, when could iOS 8.4 be released? Probably a month from now. I would say roughly about a month. 8.3 came a lot sooner than we thought, so 8.4 shouldn't be very far out the door. And iOS 8.4 could very likely be the last iOS 8 update before iOS 9. The iOS 9 beta will drop after the Worldwide Developers Conference on June 8th to June 12th, so somewhere around then we should see iOS 9. And iOS 8.4 is very likely to be the last firmware on iOS 8. So it's good to see that a jailbreak is running on that. That gives me so much hope and it gets me really excited to see all the potential for a jailbreak and the Apple Watch, which we'll be getting in a couple weeks from now. So again, iOS 8.4 will probably be released about a month from now. In between now and then, the jailbreak developers are hard at work. Pangu has joined the race as well. They are testing exploits on iOS 8.3 of previously saved exploits from past jailbreaks. And the Taiji jailbreak team is actively working on a jailbreak as well. So we have so many great minds thinking not together. However, they are working on a jailbreak and it's really exciting to see which one of them will release it first. And this gives me a lot of hope again. And I just wanna address a couple of questions. I have a lot of people asking me, what firmware should I be on? Primarily right now, iOS 8.2 is the best place to be. Again, I keep telling everybody that iOS 8.2 is probably the best firmware, the one most likely to be jailbroken, but with this video, we're being told now that it could possibly work on 8.3 and 8.4. No certainty yet, but I would still say stay on iOS 8.2. In the worst case, you can always upgrade to the newest firmware, but you can't do the same back to 8.2 in the future. And right now, you can still downgrade to iOS 8.2. Down below in the description, I'll have a link for that as well. So if you guys want to pretty much guarantee a jailbreak, break, I would say stay in 8.2, but again, we don't know for certain which firmware it will be released on. So guys, that's just about it. Really cool. We get a little glimpse of hope on the iOS 8.4, 8.3, and 8.2 jailbreaks. Hopefully Ionic does release this to the public or collaborates with a team. It would be really nice of him to do so. However, his track record in the past, he's always been bragging about some jailbreak exploits, uh, having a jailbreak on a firmware, and he hasn't really released them in the past. He's actually a teacher, so he's going to use these exploits for his own purposes, not a public release. So again, we don't know if he'll release it or not. Very likely he won't, but it is possible. At least we see that now. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. Hope we give you a little bit of hope as well. Have a great day. Peace.